Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, I hope you're well and everything is fine for you. In this video, I will explain you how to farm resources efficiently. We will talk about one team composition, synergy and which missions you can do to farm resources. If you are beginners or if you have a young account, you probably have a lack of resources because you want to craft a lot of things. Let's go. I advise you to recruit people who want to farm resources with you. You can ask on the recruit channel, your clan or your friends. But what do you need in your group? Let me explain one of my favorite team compositions. To be honest, I try to create all the time the same group when I want to farm any resources in Warframe. In this group, you need two fast looter, one energy restore Warframe and the last one need to speed enemies. First fast looter, Necros. Necros is a must-have in all farming resources team. The mechanic is easy. When an enemy die, the body can be consumed by Desecrate, the third ability. You just need to keep this ability up. Desecrate gives to your group an extra loot for each part of a body. That's why your group need to have as much as possible weapon with slash damage to cut the enemies in multiple parts. Necro is happy. Try to use sometimes Shadows of the Dead, the fourth ability, and let your shadows die. In that case, you create others' bodies to desecrate. This is my build. It works well. The most important mods here are Equilibriums and Dispoid Augmentation mod for Necro. You can get it from Red Veil and Parent Sequence Syndicates. This spoil augment will use your health instead of your energy to desecrate the body. Then, a good way to restore your health is equilibrium. Then, you focus your build on efficiency and range. You don't care about duration and strength. The second one looter is Korra. With Strangledown and Pelfiring Strangledown augmentation mode, that grants you 65% chance extra loot from enemies held in your dome. This is my build. You can get Pillfiring Strangle Dome Augmentation Mode from Steel Meridian and Red Veil Syndicates. Korra needs to be extremely versatile. That's why this build is expensive and it's difficult to have a cheapest build. This Warframe is a really good fit combined with Necros. Strangle Dome deals slash damage. Venery deals slash damage too. Try to use Wipe Claw to kill enemies quickly or held in your dome. And you know what? Wipe Claw deals slash damage also. Nick Rose is happy. You can also try Hydrate instead of Korra if you don't have her. With Tentacle Swarm and Pilfering Swarm Augmentation mod, you have 100% chance extra loot from enemies held by tentacles. But I prefer Korra. Why? Because tentacles deal magnetic damage. And no abilities from Hydrate deal slash damage. Necro is unhappy. Now your energy restore. I think everyone know who is Trinity. This is my build. You can have a lot of variations. The most important is to have survivability and focus on Vampire Leech Augmentation mode. You can get it from New Loka and Parent Sequence Syndicates. Then focus your build on range and to finish strength. The mechanic in this group is to spam Energy Vampire, the second ability, to restore the energy of yourself and your teammates. Vampire Lich can restore energy even if your teammates are behind a wall. It seems simple and useless, but not at all. Your gameplay as Trinity is like a support, and your teammate will love you for that. It's a good transition cause the last one melt him energy a lot to speed enemies. When we talk about improving the enemy speed, we think about Nova. But in this group it's an error, and a lot of groups do this mistake. Nova Molecular Prime ability, the fourth one, nullify the extra loot from Necros. Yes, cause when enemy die by the Nova Molecular Prime, the body explodes and Necro don't have time to consume bodies. Necro is unhappy. It's exactly the same with Sarin when the enemy die with spores. The body melt and disappear around 2 seconds. Necro don't have time to activate the secret for all bodies. So who is this Warframe? It's Equinox Dayform. 
This is my build, and you can copy it and replace Prime by original one, if it's too much expensive. With the second ability, you can boost speed enemies and increase their damage taken. You can use it in an incredible range. With the active third ability, you increase strength for you and your teammate. And with the fourth ability, when you disable it, you deal a huge amount of slashing damage. Necro is happy. Now you have your group, Necros, Cora, Trinity, Equinox. We need to have a lot of enemies now, and without limit. Survival missions are perfect. If you can choose, Infested Survival is better, cause you have a bonus of resources drop chance. In the navigation map, choose Resource Drone if it's not already active, and over the Extractor. In that case, you can see which resources you can have on the planet. I noticed that resources on top are common and resources on the bottom are rare. Now let me show you the group in action. It looks like this. Testy. In bonus I advise you to have Smita Kavat with Charm mod. This mod allows your Smita Kavat to grant a random buff every 27 seconds with 28% chance. One of those is double pickups and infinities during 120 seconds. For example, this buff effect cryotic earned if it's active. And you know what? Cavats also deal slash damage. Conclusion? Yes. I hope this video helped you. Do not hesitate if you have questions to put it in comments below. Take care about you and see you soon for another Optimize Your Time video. If you appreciate the content, don't forget to subscribe and put a like in this video to support me. You can also follow me on Twitch, Twitter and Instagram. See you, bye bye.